All right, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakar Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at GMS who continue to teach and rule well. And peace and safety to the Akram across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity. All right. Now, I'm going to entitle this video, Don't Be a Bench Warmer, Be Active. Okay. Now, if you're uh, familiar with sports, okay, uh, it's all inclusive if you're on the team okay you don't necessarily have to play in the game you don't necessarily have to put up any points or rebounds or whatever the case may be okay but everybody that wins on the team well the team that wins everybody on the team gets uh, um, uh, rewarded okay get a ring whether it be a ring a trophy a medallion okay a medal you know whatever it may be now the truth isn't like that every man has to work individually for one common goal okay if you're not doing the work in this truth you're not going to be rewarded as a man that's on your same team that's been laboring and putting in this work okay so you got to be active all right this this um don't be that guy that ride the bench uh, the whole year and then be popping bottles of champagne okay because that's not going to happen with this thing of course we're all one body but you have to do your part in order for the body to work all right so i'm gonna pull romans 12 and 4 because you know like i was saying uh you're not just going to ride the coattail of, of brothers um, and, you know, just sit back and, you know, reap the benefits of another man's labor. You have to labor as well. OK. And that shows a lack of faith if you're not putting in the work. OK. Um, because the scriptures say faith without works is dead. All right. Now, if you're at camp, of course, you're present. But what are you doing? Are you are you holding signs? Are you holding posts? Are you holding camera? Are you speaking? Are you reading? OK, you have to be doing something just not, you know, standing around being inactive. OK, you have to be active. All right. And just because you're not a speaker. All right. So to speak. Or you're not reading doesn't mean that you're inadequate. OK, you're you still play an important vital role in the body. So do the work. OK, this is Romans 12 and 4. It says, for as we have many members in one body. All right. So that's all the brothers individually. OK, but come together as one, which represents that one body and all members, not the same office. And that goes into what I was speaking about, whether you're you're, you're holding posts, you're reading, you're on the camera. All right. You still play an important role. OK. You, you're still a part of that body so hold your office all right and be active okay you know don't be that one brother just just playing in the background being being a bench warmer uh brothers actually that yeah, you want to step up and read nah man you know you want to open up count nah man the spirit ain't really on me nah man don't be that don't be that brother okay do something be active man Verse five, it says, so we being many are one body in Yahweh Shai and every one member, one of another. All right. So, yeah, man, we, we all collectively make up one body. So you have to do do your part. All right. Let's let's use, you know, the physical uh, body for an example. OK. Without your fingers that are attached to your hand, you won't be able to. You, you you won't be able to, to grip, okay, or pick up certain things. So just because you're the fingers and not the actual hand, you know, doesn't make you less than because you play an important role. A hand without fingers is just, is, is worthless, okay? Just like, a, just like feet without toes, okay? So I'm saying that to say every, every part, even from the littlest or the minute things on the physical body makes a big difference. And that's the same thing, you know, with the body 
uh, the, the spiritual body, okay, which is, you know, the brothers or, or the camp that you're in, all right? It says, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, okay? You know, that, and that's, that's the reason you shouldn't be looking at a brother that's on fire and is an excellent speaker and thinking just because that isn't you or you can't do that, that you're less than. All right. We all have different gifts. It's just about, you know, uh, finding your gift, you know, and, and activating it. OK. And, and and, you know, perfecting it. OK. If you're a brother that that's charitable, be that. OK. If you're a brother that's uh, knowledgeable, share the knowledge you got, man. Don't 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 hide that knowledge in a napkin. OK. And, and keep it uh, for yourself. All right. Share that, man. And, and that's another thing. You have to be around and be active in order for talents to be traded. All right. It says, whether well, prophecy, let us prophesy according to the portion of our faith. All right. And that's why I said earlier, you know, if you're not working or you're not acting active, that shows a, a lack of faith. Because if I go into that word active, On the online etymology, it says a doing or to draw out, draw forth or move, it says uh, capable of acting. But the point I want to point out is this. It's a lot. Working. All right. If, you, if you're active, that means you're working. All right. And it says uh, the latter part of Romans 12 and 6. It says, let us prophesy according to the portion of our faith. All right. And the scripture tell you faith without what? Work. Is dead. Okay. So to work means to be active okay so from there I'm gonna go to first Corinthians to further you know expound on my point and then I'm gonna close up get my image queued back up there we go This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Let me see where I'm starting at. Verse 12, it says, For as the body is one and have many members, and all the members of that one body being many are one body. So, so like being many are one body. So also is Yahweh Shai. Verse 13, for by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentile, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. Right? And that's when we all come together collectively as being one spirit. And like I was saying, this particular body or team is not all inclusive. Like if you're playing, you remember if you play rec ball. You know, even the sorriest dude got a reward, okay? Even the guy that didn't play not one minute got an award, okay? And was able to celebrate with the team, all right? This this thing of ours doesn't work like that. Every man being one body or a different entity of the body has to put in that work in order to achieve the common goal in which we have, okay? You're not going to... Uh, get a golden ticket on the chariot off another man's work, okay? So, yeah, man. Uh, basically, don't be a bench warmer. Don't be a sideline guy just standing back, letting the brothers get all the work in, and you standing, 
you know, you sitting on the side, just uh, glorified and watching it, okay, and being a cheerleader, okay, get in there, man, get in the game, be active, you know, coach put you in the game, man, ask the Lord to put that spirit on you to want to get in, man, and be active, all right, so, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, you know, until next time, shalom. And again, give all praise, glory, and honor to you. How about Shimmy? How about Shai? By Shimmy Kaka Dash Shalom.